So your doctor told you that you need to have a pacemaker because you have slow heartbeat that is causing you to have symptoms. Now, what does it mean that you have slow heartbeat and why do you need to have a pacemaker? Well, let's look at the heart. If this is the heart, this is the upper chamber here, and this is the lower chamber right over here. You can have slow heartbeat because the natural battery of your heart, the sinus node here, is very slow. Or if the electrical conduction between the upper and the lower chamber of the heart, that electrical conduction has a problem. Both of these conditions will result in slow heartbeat. Moreover, you might have inappropriate or you are incapable of increasing your heart rate in response to activity. And that also will cause symptoms for which the pacemaker might be of help. Now, what do we do when we put in a pacemaker? If this is the heart over here, and this here, this is the vein that goes under the collarbone, what we do here, if this is the collarbone right over here, we can access that vein with a needle put a wire in the vein all the way inside the heart. And this has usually a small screw that attaches itself inside the heart. We can attach this wire or this lead to the pacemaker. We put the pacemaker right under the skin, on the right or on the left, right under the skin and close it up. More importantly, now we can communicate with the pacemaker by putting a wand on top of the skin and we can actually extract information as to what has the rhythm been doing for the past few months. We can reprogram the pacemaker depending on your needs. Some patients have a problem increasing their heart rate. Those pacemakers have sensors that can feel that you're trying to do something and can increase your heart rate appropriately so that you do not have symptoms when you try to do something. And we can set it at 40, at 50, or at 60. Each patient is different, and we can design these programs depending on what's going on with your life and what is it that you need and what is your lifestyle and what is it that you feel based on your symptoms.